Hello, in the um, previous tutorial we looked at using arrays to store several values inside one variable. So instead of having a um, variable which can only hold one value, such as a um, whether it's a string or an integer, we can use an array which is kind of like a list and it can store a whole heap of values inside it. Um, but in this tutorial we're going to have a look at multi-dimensional arrays and uh, in particular two-dimensional arrays. So say for example we created a um, one-dimensional array called people and inside this array we just put some names right. John, Mary and uh, Jason. Okay, that would be a one-dimensional array so it's got three people's names in there. But say what if we wanted to store the ages and the gender for each person in this um, array? Well, that's where we can make a two-dimensional array um, where we can have kind of like elements inside elements in an array. So to do that, I'm going to create an array. I'm going to make a little bit of space here between those square brackets. And then I'm going to add more square brackets. So the first element in the array will be John, age is 16, and gender is male. Okay, and then that is separated by another person, uh, Mary, who will be 42, and female. And then we'll add one more, and name was Jason who can be 21 and male. Okay, so this is a two-dimensional array. Instead of having just um, three elements in the array, so John, Mary and Jason, we now actually have two dimensions in this array. So we can have, we've got a name, which is a string, and we've got an integer value, an age, and then we've got another string value here for one element in the array. And then we've got another one here, and another one here, so we have three in the array. Okay, now um, we can also access these um, array elements. So remember that elements in an array, the index number starts from zero. So John would have an index of zero, Mary would be one, and Jason would be two. Now usually, you know, if you're accessing a one-dimensional array, and say if you wanted to display an element on the screen, you could do something like document.write, people and zero if you wanted to just access the first element in the array. But if we want to access um, John's actual name, so just John, then we can put people zero, which would grab this first element in the array. And then we can add another zero, which would grab that very first element in that second dimension of the array. Okay. Um, now, we could also just add a little uh, break here. So we'll use the HTML break tag. Oops. Okay, and we need to also close off those brackets and a semicolon. So that will access the first person in the array. Um, it'll access that the name of the first person in the array, which happens to be John. We'll save that, Oops. We'll undo, save. And now we can go and open that in the browser and test it. Okay, so there we have John. All right, now if we go back and add another line, and this time we'll go document.write um, people, and we'll go zero, and we'll go one, and we'll also might as well add another break there to add a new line so we'll copy and paste that down okay this time it will it should show the value of 16 so it's still the first um, element in the array but it's the actual well it's the second element inside the first element of the array so if we go back to the browser and refresh we now have on a new line 16 okay if we go down and we go document.write um, people 
and this time we do one and one, then it should Oh, we have two brackets. Okay. Should have seen that. So refresh that. Now it's saying 42. So it's going to that um, second element in the array in the array, and then more specifically the second element inside that element, which is 42. Okay, we could then um, say if we wanted to change the age of the uh, third person in the array, we could go firstly we'll display it so we'll go document dot write uh, another typo document dot write people and then inside those brackets we could add um, two to get the third person which would be Jason and then um, we could grab their age and add a break. All right, now that will say 21, but we could go and change the age. So we could say people two and then one equals 22. So we can now change the age. And if we go to document.write people two and then one, and refresh, it will now be 22. Okay, so it displays uh, 21 up here, but then it changes that array element to 22 and displays 22 on the next line down. Okay, um, we could also add an extra person to this array. So we could do people three equals, and then we put another name, Sarah, 36 and female and then we could put document dot right people and we could just display that whole array element put people three and now if we go back to Chrome it shows that whole entire array element there so Sarah 36 female if we wanted to access a specific part of that then we could add the extra square brackets and we could say zero for name one for age or two for gender okay so that is how to set up a um, two-dimensional array in javascript and also how to access and modify array elements in um, javascript thanks for watching